Isolation day 32, Sunday the 19th of April. I hope everyone's well. It is the last day of the weekend. So for those of you that are not working, you've had another day off and you're getting ready to uh, leave the bedroom, walk downstairs, sit on a computer, get a cup of coffee. Today was a day of doing very little for me. So the idea was I wasn't gonna train. As, as you saw yesterday, I'd have a couple of sessions of training. Clearly it does affect my bloods quite a lot. I've been doing a bit of research today on what I need to do and how I need to do it. I'm going to implement that tomorrow when I do train. So the idea today was to not eat for breakfast and lunch and see how my bloods fared. You can see here in the morning, my blood went from 5.3 to 6.9 to 8.5 and I took a correction dose when it was 8.5 and it went down to 7.3 and then 5.1 and then it slowly dropped away 4.1 then 3.8. Overall, I'm not too unhappy with it. I think if you're really checking your basal rates correctly, you shouldn't really be giving correction doses. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna to train tomorrow, but the following day, I'm gonna have lunchtime and evening of not eating, and we'll see where the basal rates go again. The following morning, you can see here, was 3.6, and I did have a couple of jelly babies then. Uh, then it was 6.5, 6.6, and it seemed, so it wasn't too bad. Overall, I had 15 grams of carbs yesterday, and you can see there's an interesting thing right in the middle there, which is for lunch, I had a bag of pork scratchings. Now, I'll put a picture of pork scratchings up. Pork scratchings are, if you're not in the UK, you, I'm not sure if you've even, if, if you would have even seen pork scratchings. They're generally a pub snack. People would, would have pork scratchings with a pint of beer. Because of, the fact that pork scratchings are very low carb, no sugar. Yes, they're high in fat, but yes, they're high in protein. Lots of people are now eating pork scratchings as an alternative to crisps or a chocolate bar or something like that. Because it's got lots of protein and everyone wants to be strong, the view is that actually it's not a bad alternative. I actually quite like the taste of some of them. So as a zero carb, lunch at the moment on keto not lunch but as a zero carb snack i don't think it's the worst thing to do as long as you're not eating them every day of the week other than that not a lot really happened uh it was it was a sunday so it was a relatively relaxed day did a few things online here that's pretty much it the highlight of my day was at 12 o'clock so midnight sounds a bit dodgy but at 12 o'clock midnight i had a zoom call with these guys Last weekend, I logged into a Instagram live feed where Matt Taro and Brandon Denson were having a chat together and I got involved by messaging. They very kindly invited me on to a Zoom call for this week. So I joined this week thinking it will just be a few of us and actually I was the only person from the UK on the call. There were seven or eight other guys. I'll add all of their names below. Can't read them all now, but um, every single one of them contributed and it was really very cool. The amazing thing was that I've never experienced it and I've never had it um, at any other time. I went to a diabetes holiday when I was 12 years old. That's the only time I've really spent more than half an hour or 20 minutes with a doctor having a chat about diabetes with someone. These guys were really informed. It was really good to talk to them. We spoke about CGMs. Matt Taro is, works at Dexcom, so he had a lot to say about those and the T-Slim. Everyone has a CGM, everyone has a pump. And we were we were commenting just how, how amazing the pumps are and just how, how much of a game changer the CGM and the pump is. But what, one point that came out that I found really interesting was, if you had a choice between a pump and a CGM, which one would you have? and every single one of us said a CGM. So that just tells you how important a CGM is to a lot of people with a lot of years of being diabetic between us, how we think that is so important. Now, there wasn't one of us that thought that the pump was more important. In the UK, where CGM isn't on the NHS, I think these are the kind of people you need to be talking to because it is an absolute game changer. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to attract more people in to uh, to get involved in these Bolus Maximus Zoom calls on a Sunday and I highly recommend it. It was very entertaining. I hope you're well and I hope you're looking after yourselves. I'm going to be training tomorrow and back in the groove. I'll catch up with you soon.